think AI testing is complicated? What if one tool could handle all your project testing automatically in minutes? Introducing Test Sprite MCP. MCP is designed to automatically read your project specs and generate a test smart strategy and execute those tests. It focuses entirely on improving feature completeness and software reliability. MCP flags all missing or malfunctioning features with precision. It increases overall delivery accuracy to over 90%, that way ensuring production-ready software. And the best part, it's fully automated, no-code workflow, which means it takes zero manual effort from your end. MCP creates, runs, and reports tests independently. It's ideal for developers who, you know, want to ship a bug-free project faster. Follow along with me. What we will do now is download the test sprite MCP. Just click the link down in the description and follow along with me. Click the install now option and it will give you how to install it, the options that are required. First, you need a test sprite account. You can create one for free, click sign up free, fill out the information and you have your own account. When you create it, just sign in. And after you create your account for free, you need to create a new API key. You will log in into your dashboard as we've shown and scroll to the menu on the left. You will find settings, click API keys, and you will have this page. Click new API key on the top right side and follow the steps along. And as you can see, I created my API key. You will have your API key to copy and paste it. Make sure you do it. And then I want you to come back on home page and click test locally, quick install and follow the steps. And last but not least, you come into the create tests and follow the steps to start your own testing. And you can see API name, add whatever API you know you want to test API, the website, which is the URL of the endpoint authentication if there is one, and extra testing information. And once you fill out the information, click the button and it will start generating your test plan. And in a few seconds you have APIs uploaded, one total test cases 15, and the categories of those tests. Click next and you can see it gives you the test cases you would like to generate and execute. And you can modify this and they give you their priority based on high, medium, or low, the name of the test case, and a description. I'm going to click Next, and you see now we're in the progress of testing those cases. Then you have your front end, so you add your URL names, the web application page. If there is a sign-in username email or a password, and then you click Next and you wait for the front end testing results too. And we can see that, okay, one year it was uploaded, which is true, and it did five tests. And here are the final tests of the front end, their priority, name, and description. I click next, and we go for the result. And after the testing, you can see that test sprite found me the errors that I need to fix. The cool thing and feature of it also, it, it gives you a video with where exactly the error is. And when you click next, it generates test reports and analysis based on those improvements that you can make. And you can see here and before and after using test sprite MCP. With coding agent only, they had 42% features delivered. Then with test sprite, they increased it to up to 93% of features delivered. 
And here is also another example of the execution results from test sprite. You can see how it improves the code automatically with MCP's feedback compared to using manual testing outcome and before using test sprite MCP. And the best part is that you can try MCP for free. Click the link down in the description and follow along with me. When you create your free account, this is the dashboard that you will see. At the left, you will see overview of your home and MCP tests. Then you can create a test, all the tests you've done, a list of them, and a monitoring of those tests. Under that, you have your profile, billing information, and the API keys of the software. In the home page, you will see that there is a tutorial on get started with test sprite, and you can choose between test locally, test deployed apps, or view documents. Here you can see your recent tests, and on the right side, the list of the tests. At the bottom side to the right, you will see how many credits you're left, and here you will be able to see real time of your product's health. Let's do a demonstration of a testing. You click a create a test and you choose the name of the test. I'm going to type test up. Then you choose next. Here you will add the information of the API. It requires the API name, API endpoint or the URL, the authentication type if there is one, basic, bearer, API key or none, and extra testing information if required. At step number three, you put your front-end testing information, URL, URL name, web application sign-in username, and web application sign-in password, if there is any, and any instructions. And as you can see, using MCP, it allows you to streamline development cycles for faster, more reliable releases and it's featured and trending on social media and product hunt. So don't miss the opportunity to have a bug-free application. I'm gonna test something wild. I'm gonna build a cursor inside the cursor and I'm gonna let test sprite to test it out and show me what I can improve. The first thing I need to do is to create a PRD documentation to create a web app like Cursor. I already copied this content from GBT5, pasted the PRD doc into Cursor project, and after some minutes, we've implemented Web Cursor. Let's try to log in. Maybe create a simple snake game and see how it goes. Seems like a bit, little bit of error is happening. GBT5 is indeed amazing. It satisfies a lot of requirements, but still you only knows whether this software aligns your requirement when you manually test it. This is why we create a test sprite. Right now, you don't have to manually do all this validation anymore. Test sprite will help you to test all these edge cases. What's more amazing is we will even send the structured result back to Cursor so that it will help to polish all the results. I will tell Cursor now, hey, can you test this project with Test Sprite? After giving this prompt, it already called our MCP tool. A testing configuration page is open. We can just enter test account info, your local host port, and the PRD doc we just generated. And after that, we will try to generate a code summary to understand your code base. After that, Test Sprite will generate a standard product requirement doc. If your PRD is a little bit rough, it's fine. We will polish it make it more structured based on the code base information and the original PRD information. And after our MCP will create test plan for this project, we generated 28 cases in total. And our AI right now is trying to generate all these test code and execute them in our server side. After some time, we can see that the test execution already finished. Right now, only four tests passed the 20 
8 and 24 failed. Right now, Test Sprite is actually trying to generate a test report based on all the feedback. It will list out all the test cases and it will also have a summarization of all those test execution results. One great thing about Test Sprite is that for each of the tests, we will help our user to record all the actions. This is the value of Test Sprite. Manually validating all these features really cost you a lot of time. You probably don't want to write all this down and feed it back to cursor. We will help you to summarize and organize all this information and feed it back to cursor. Right now we can ask cursor to fix the code base based on test sprite report. After waiting for some minutes, we can see that cursor has fixed all those issues based on test sprite report. We can now prompt, hey, help me write the Python snake game. I, it will create a task and it will try to generate some code. We can accept it, we can revert, we can get back, we can also see previous task. Do not let bugs slow you down. Let test sprite MCP handle testing while you focus on building amazing products. Click the link down in the description and join MCP today. Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to click the like and subscribe button and comment below any questions you may have. Thank you so much and see you in the next video.